is this pernicious racism? I'm going to investigate three potentially searing things that may have non-racial explanations. And if they do, it's worth holding on to, maybe worth drifting towards all other things being equal, that there is a benign reason or a bad reason. And if the benign is in mind, you're probably happier. So let me propose that it's not just benign, but true. Case one, banks supposedly denying African-Americans mortgages because of their race. They tried to ferret this out in Connecticut. They uh, had people posing. They went to four banks. They struck out on three, and the closest they could come to showing a, a, a disposition because of race was from a bank whose president is African-American. <laughs> they have to try that hard. Means it's certainly not blatant, it's not prevalent, and it takes fake undercover people to come up with one in four at best, and probably even that is a shimmer. Number two, de-blackening your home that you'd like to put on the market for sale. Now, this is sad that there's a perception that showing pictures of Martin Luther King in your home, as opposed to, I guess, John F. Kennedy and FDR, that that brings a lower market value. That was given over in a, a Georgia couple's home um, mixed race, but there was enough evidence of blackness that their realtor said, you, you should cover these up. Make this look like a white home. They did and ended up with a higher market value. Now, who's the bad guy here? The white real estate agent is helping them get more money for their home. So if it's out there in the first place, that's such a diffuse racism, there's really nobody to blame. And you can help yourself to a higher market value by accepting without liking. I accept that I'm a Jew. If I had a home in Borough Park, New York, which is almost completely Orthodox Jews, it is of less value than an equal home in almost any neighboring borough. Not many people want to live around them, okay? So is that a racial or even national bad? I live with it, okay? There's something special about my neighborhood. Does a contractor who wants to shield buyers who don't seem to like the presence of an African-American workman on their construction, that he yanks the African Americans on his crew and puts them on different projects, still employs them, doesn't diminish their salary at all, but puts them in a place where there's less animosity. I don't know. I don't think that the contractor is racist. The contractor is playing to other people's dispositions. How heroic do we expect people to be? It's certainly on the wussy side, but is it itself racist? Tough call.